Hello guys and girls, how is it going? Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Didi, I'm a class one HTV driver. Um, I've been asked to do a dedicated video on how a 13 speed manual transmission works with a splitter. So that's what this video is going to be about. The problem I've got is the camera angles. I don't know how to set up the cameras so that they work best for the angles. I've got it shoved in a little cubby hole at the moment where you are now and I'm going to tilt it downwards so you can see the gear stick. I've got one camera on the rev counter so I can show you that but I don't know if this camera is going to stay still and I don't know if the microphone is going to stay where it is because my tripod isn't that good and the camera just has a tendency to flop down like so. So anyway, we'll have a quick run through with the gears. I hope the camera angles are alright and that you can hear me alright and everything. I'm going to quickly run through how the gears work, obviously like with no load on or anything, just now parked up. And then we'll get into some driving and I'll talk a bit more through what I'm doing and how they work and whatnot. I hope you enjoy this video anyway, fingers crossed. Okay, so from where you are now, we have the black and the silver. The black being low, which is there. The silver being high, which is up like so. So we've got one, two, three in low, four, five, six in high. And then we have a splitter on the side, which you can probably just about see from that angle. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it from that angle. The splitter is half a gear, basically. Um, you've got low there and high there. The reason why I'm saying high and low on the splitter is because it comes up on the dash with low when you're in the bottom when you're at the bottom there like so it goes off when you put it in high so as the gears go we're going to completely ignore first we don't need first we don't use it we're going to ignore it so clutch in down to the side neutral is in between two and three or one two and three it's like here so to get to second we push it slightly over to the side and down that'll be second that's what we'll be setting off in whether we're full or empty will be setting off in second. From second up into third, like so. Flip the switch up, that's gonna give us our higher range. So we come back to neutral and across into four, like so. Straight down for fifth and straight up for sixth. So two, three, up. Four, which is a pain if you don't double clutch it five and six so that's that that's the simple bit well it's simple all the way you don't have to over complicate it at all very simple and then you go second third flick it up into fourth and then fourth and high and down into fifth and low fifth and high into sixth sixth and low sixth and high it's as simple as that and the way i've worked it out is that it seems that all the gears with the splitter there's about 250 to 300 rpm difference so what i mean by that is if i'm in second and i go to 1500 revs if i split split it and dump the clutch it's going to bring me down to about 1250 to 1300 rpm if that makes sense if i don't split it if i just go from second to third like so it's going to drop me about 500 to 550 or so rpm so you want to try and keep your, your rpm in between a thousand and fifteen hundred at all times if you're going up an hill maybe sixteen hundred seventeen hundred maybe but if not you want to try and keep your edge between a thousand and fifteen hundred at all times so i'm going to crack on with it now well we're empty at the moment so We'll have a run through the gears. When we're empty, we're going to do second, third, up, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then split to the top when we're in sixth. And that's it. We're not going to touch this while we're empty. We're not going to touch it at all. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. If you want to really simplify it, it might make you have a bit of extra clutch wear, but you can start off in fourth, high, like so, in fourth. You can set off in fourth like that and go fourth, fifth, sixth, split it to sixth top, and then you're at cruising speed, 56 mile an hour. You can do it like that, but 
just for clutch wear, wear and tear and all that stuff, we're going to set off in second. I'll put the um, speedo rev counter camera thing on now. I'm going to put the camera gear away because it's rattling and doing my tree in. And then we'll set off. Right, so over to the side and down, second gear, let's start off. Right, 1500 revs, four gear up to the third, and it drops us down as you saw about 500 to 600 RPM. So now we're going to put it up to high range, like so, ready for when we change. Now, if you don't double clutch, when you change from third to fourth, it does this, it does that. That's why I double clutch. So we'll practice now using the splitter while we're empty. If you do use one of these gearboxes, I would advise using the splitter and getting used to it while you're empty. So we'll get it up to 1500, press it up and dump the clutch. We'll press it down, ready for fifth gear. why I'm doing it faster this time is because there's someone waiting for me. Right, ignore that bit. I went into third high because I've kind of got used to this gearbox now and I know where I, need, I kind of need to be. I have got used to it, I'm, I'm quite, I'm, I'm alright with it now, to be fair. Right, I'll pull over here and we'll start again. Start again. We've got a decent run here now. Okay, so we're down, we're in low, we're going to start off in second. Let's go. 1500 revs into third. Click it up, double clutch into fourth. We'll use the splitter. Change it up 1400 because we're empty. Down and ready for fifth. Up to 1400, like I say, because we're empty. Dump the clutch, we're off. Get that ready for get that ready down, ready for sixth. 1400, sixth. And then we're ready for um, we're ready for top gear when we need it. Thousand revs, put it in top and just cruise at 30 if you saw which. Right, roundabout. We'll go low and into fifth, 20 mile an hour or so. Right, we'll ignore the split this time and we'll go straight into sixth at around 1500. Drops us down to roughly a thousand revs. So 1300 revs we, we split at then and it took us down to just over under, uh, a thousand. Okay, so we're slowing down. We'll go down half a gear. My Mr. Borden's nearly wipes us out. Jeez. Took that a bit wide, didn't he? Right, so we'll get into fifth gear, ready to merge onto the east links and I'll take you through the full next speeding up process. A full gear straight down, maximum acceleration. Again a full gear up into sixth. We'll get ready by splitting it up and dumping the clutch. And there we are. We're now at cruising speed. Well we're not at cruising speed, we're in cruising gear. And now we can just floor it and yeah, we'll see you when we get there. 
the next time I talk to you, we will be loaded and I'll go through the gears and the speeds that you change and everything when we are loaded. Okay, okay, so now we are loaded. We're 43,780. And what I'm going to do now is show you the difference between setting off uphill and downhill, which may sound stupid, but it, it is a bit different. We do do it a bit differently. So we're setting off uphill now. Second. Third. Flick it up to go into fourth. Double clutch, take your time. Flick it up, ready for a half gear. Dump the clutch. Flick it down, ready for fifth. 1500 revs. Flick it up, ready for your half gear in fifth. 1500 revs. Flick it down, ready for sixth. Flick it up, ready for top gear. Dump the clutch. There you go, top gear. It is. See, it's. See? It's not that difficult. It's not difficult at all. It's enjoyable, I suppose. You've just got to get your head around what gears you're in at what time. Like coming up to roundabouts or when people pull out on you. That's a big one. When people pull out on you, you obviously, you, you just get all messed up and it's like, wowzers! There you go. Right, so we're pulling up at traffic lights now. And I'll show you why we don't go, why we don't split second and third. I'll show you that. Because the gears are just too close together, it means you never stop changing gears. Okay, so second gear. That's why we don't split them. Because they're just too close together. They're just, you just, you do it all too fast. You might have to split it if you're going up a hill or whatever, but other than that, you uh, just use second and third as normal gears with the splitter in the down position. Simple as that. I want to apologise for the audio in advance if it's not good because like I say I've got my microphone shoved in a cubby hole here and I don't know whether it's going to pick up every vibration and knock and whatnot. so I might instead of using that one I might have to use this camera and I know that this camera's audio isn't perfect but well, there you go so uh, I'll leave it now until we are doing the downhill run and I'll run through the gears when we're doing the downhill bit. I'll talk to you in a minute. Right guys, so we're going to be doing, guys and girls, we're going to be doing the downhill stretch of the East Lanks now. So I'm just gonna run you through this uh, and show you how we do it a little bit differently. Only because we block change instead of going through every single gear. Well, that's never happened before. I usually get through these lines. So, into third. Flick our switch, ready for fourth. And instead of splitting, I'm gonna go straight down into fifth. So 15,000 rev, 1,500 revs, 15,000, good grief. Straight up into sixth. And get the split ready for top gear. And 
there you have it that is it that is the 13 speed split box or manual split box transmission gear box lever shifter thing that's what that is sick right so that's as much as i can show you pretty much if you've any questions feel free to put them down below if there's anything you want to ask me if there's anything you want me to show you anything you want me to go through feel free to drop it in the comment section below and i will make a video on it because i always do i hope i've gone through it in enough detail with you and i hope you've enjoyed it as always take care be safe and i will see you in the very next video peace bye